Okay, we're gonna get right into it because Rob is gonna be waiting to be playing with us after Hacker Replay. In this first match, uh, we're on Villa and we have Sep Septivix, who is accusing David Lego. And I chose this match because, so the accusation is that this David Lego character is able to make the whole lobby freeze and then he can keep moving around. So I want to see what that's like. Because DDoSing in general has become very uncommon because of some changes Ubisoft made to actually make it better. Um, so I, I haven't really seen much, if any, DDoSing since they changed it. So I'm curious to see what it looks like if uh, he's actually making the entire server freeze. Apparently it gets more obvious that he's doing it later in the match, so I don't know how much there will be in the first round, but we'll watch just in case. Because I want to see if he can like freeze everyone and then swing them all. holding here. Oh. Two people just got removed from the match. One sec. Was that, like, the lagging? Ooh, oh, X out. He was just on his drone the entire time. Interesting. That barricade actually broke. It's coming 90. He hears it from the shots. Okay, he just... Died. Why didn't they do the reveal today? Because this major took place like almost a whole month earlier than normal. Normally the Major's in the last uh, week of May, and instead it was in the last week of April to the first week of May. It was very weird. I don't understand why they pushed it forward so much. So now the reveal is going to be on, if I'm not mistaken, the 12th or 14th. Um, and I don't know what it's going to be like. If it's going to be just a... I don't know, maybe a stream where they just show the panel and nothing else, or if they're going to make a whole day of it, I don't know. So far I haven't seen anyone being frozen. I've just seen those two people get disconnected. Because he specifically said in the text document that the entire lobby froze except for him. But I think he said it was mainly in round uh, 5, so... We might see that later. Because there's the possibility that this guy, while not using walls, could be DDoSing. Unlikely, because I feel like it's kind of a package deal almost, but we'll see. He actually got the kill. It didn't even look like he was aimed at him. Alright, so he says nothing is suspicious until round 5, so we just watch all of that for no reason. <laughs> watch round 5 now. So in the text document he says that he notices that the guy stands still when everyone else can move, and then when everyone else starts lagging, then he starts moving. Oh, okay, everyone... Everyone started lagging. Like crazy. The drone was moving, but... Oh, people are being disconnected one by one. This drone is stuck. They're frozen. They're frozen. He can move. Okay, so... You can tell these players are obviously still here because they can pull out a different gun and move their aim, but they can't move like their body, whereas the Flores is just... 
Oh. He's moving fine. These guys are all stuck. Oh, now they can... Or now the Nook can move. Pulse is stuck. Rook is stuck, now he's back. Hmm. Like, he's lagging too. I, I feel like this is not necessarily him DDoSing. I think it honestly might just be the servers being trash. Especially because three people straight up disconnected. Or I guess two, because the one person has been gone for a while. I can understand why this person would worry, but I am going to go on a limb here and say that it is not any sort of server hitting or DDoSing or anything like that. Instead, it's just uh, one shitty server. So I think most of us can agree that the servers have been pretty garbage over the last like two seasons. I think Pulse was lagging there. Yeah, he's lagging hard, but Flora is moving perfectly fine. Can see this gun. Okay, apparently he killed him. I think it's fine, like I again I understand the suspicion there, like he can do stuff, but no one else can. But one round, and like, even then, it still looked like he was lagging. I feel like that's just more, it's more likely that the servers were just garbage than it is for him to be DDoSing, in my personal opinion. Um, he is a silver player. Previously gold. And has like, historically a pretty bad KD. Now his KD went up, but... I mean, it's bound to go up over time. I just, I don't think... I don't think he was DDoSing. Right? Chat, what do you think? Probably has the best ping of all connected players during the round while the server is dying. Maybe. Let's just blame Yubi. Probably a good call. Especially given that he still has a negative KD overall. Like, oh, where is it? His KD this season is 0 0.86. I don't think he's DDoSing. I think he just was maybe having a stable connection. Everyone else was disconnecting. I would not rule in a DDoSing based off that and like i said it seems weird to pull a ddos when you're up three to one like ddosing is normally done when you're about to lose and you're like we gotta just disconnect them and cancel the match if you're winning why would you do that uh in this match we have a a afec xd uh who's accusing flout su 182 and Hellboy30063, which are both streamer mode names, so I'm going to guess that they're likely to be cheating, just because obviously anyone with a streamer mode name is a cheater. Have I seen the new console rework? I have not. I think they're revealing some of it today, after, well, the Major's over now, but after the match they're supposed to reveal some of it today. I think I've had like a fact on my team before. Does that mean something? Is that like a common name or or you know, isn't that a pro? I think that's a pro. He's cheating. He shot before the Zofia peaked. He knew. This guy is definitely cheating.
Oh, he must be cheating. The Flout Sue guy didn't do anything yet. We'll watch him. For sure the Jaeger's cheating. There's no way he's not. Right? Like, <clears throat> he he shot at the Zofia before he even appeared and then was constantly just like... So when he killed Zofia, he saw that the ash was below and he swung the breach wall. But instead of like holding the door like a normal person would, he was hip firing. So he was kind of like looking down a bit saw that the ash was down there and then peeked the hatch. And you can see pings now, so we know that no one was pinging it. <clears throat> then we'll see what Flout does. I'm gonna guess, we'll, we'll try looking it up, but I'm gonna guess that Hellboy30063 is a stern mode name. And just in case... We'll look up if there's two eyes. Yeah, no, it's a stream mode name. Let me just make sure. When he threw out C4, I don't think he had any reason to know that. Yeah, like he pulled the C4 before. Mm. He pulled it before Blitz even broke the door, so he knew someone was coming that way. But maybe you could argue that he could hear the footsteps, right? He's just staring at the Zofia. He doesn't care about anything else, he's just hyper-focused on her. Oh, okay, yeah, he's cheating. Especially if he swings her on the right. Oh, he's just so hyper-focused on her. I think he's cheating too. Do I have drops on? No. I didn't get told about drops or how we get them or what we had to do, so I just don't have them. Classic UV with their terrible communication and just not talking to me about anything. Because I assume this was a problem because I saw a few people who were streaming without drops and then all of a sudden they got drops one day, so they probably talked to their rep and got it enabled, but... UB never reached out to me, never told me anything, so classic Ubisoft communication. Which is uh, unfortunate because drops would be nice, but UB don't care. Oh, they actually killed the other cheater. He pre fired that as well, goddamn. Do you think that's going to protect him from that one drone staring at him? Yeah, he's cheating. He knows where they are. He's pre-firing them as well. Let's see if we can find their stats. I doubt it, but might as well try. So, <laughs> the two accused people kill my Ash, who is a level 82 <laughs> champion with a 1.6 KD. And their previous name was I Am Back. Sounds like the name someone would make if they got banned and then came back. And then Bogeyman is the Hellboy guy who is very blatantly cheating. And he is a level 85 champion with a 1.3 KD. So yeah, they're cheaters. Um, okay, so match number two done. Two cheaters, first match no cheater. Cancel each other out. We'll watch one of the clubhouses now. In this match we have someone. I, they didn't include their name. 
I'm going to guess it is probably Doug Bolt. Uh, they didn't include their name, but they're accusing bandtm.v64 and then Scooby Sauce, which I'm going to hope so. This happened just the other day, or like I guess now a few weeks ago, on Tarkov. I was killed by someone who had been banned over 200 times. Every time they would get banned, they would make a new account and just add the, like one more number on it. So I got killed by number 260. So they had been banned 259 times. I am concerned that this person with their name being V64 means that this is their 64th account. Yeah, when editing this, I looked it up and I was right. 64 accounts. Insanity. Which just seems so odd to me. At this point, you might as well just subscribe to my channel and get the charm because it'll make you much better than a hacker could ever be. So like, why bother getting all these accounts if you can just do all of it on one account with the charm? Make sure to sub today. Oh, actually, wait, no. Never mind. Um, it is actually the Cypher guy. So in this match, there are going to be two Blaine cheaters. And then we'll see something. Yep. Just the insta-death cheats. Oh, he got team killed. And Scooby Sauce is the other one. Is he looking down so his head is harder to hit? That doesn't really work in Siege. So, from my understanding, based on the text document, what ends up happening is Cypher, Yoked, Girth, and Average Joe end up sabotaging the match to try to make the cheaters lose. But they basically, from my understanding, try to do what I did on that theme park match where I was just throwing so that the cheaters would lose. Does this guy not know how barricades work? You gotta, you know. Wait, I want to see that. When he reloaded, did he have any ammo? Oh, look at this. Okay. So, he breaks in, drops the hatch, kills two people, but hit, I think my camera is not blocking it. Yeah, he still has 31 bullets. Okay. Shoots one bullet here and it goes down to one. So the cheat where you can basically use all your ammo is back. Or maybe the, it went down to one because he reloaded. I don't know. But it's not using any of his ammo. So this was a cheat a while ago that got uh, patched out. And they said it was no longer possible. But clearly it still is. And what's interesting here is... Uh, from the looks of it. I'm gonna guess that the way it works, if they shoot, it uses all of their ammo at once. That's why he's melleeing the, the cap can traps because if he shoots them, then he just wastes all his ammo. And then in the second trap, he was trying to find a way to like prone underneath it. So I assume that is the only way uh, they can do anything other than have like the auto kill. Wait, what happened? Immediately everyone's low health. Oh, he already has... Oh no, he now just got reverse friendly fire because he did so much damage to both of them. But then he killed himself with it. you good. The melee is not working. I guess the chief breaks that too. Oh, and Monty's planting. He's doing exactly what I did. Why are they not defused? Okay, I was gonna say, they need to defuse.
I didn't even realize that he was doing that. I'm going to guess that they end up actually throwing this match because the cheaters don't seem that good for cheaters. Or it seems like whatever cheats they do have are, are very limiting uh, because he couldn't punch any barricades for a while. They can't shoot cap can traps. So like they get insta kills, but then that's about it. Which I mean, obviously an insta kill is really good. means that it's hard to play the game at all normally. And I assume you can't just turn this type of cheat off. I want to see if these guys can accomplish what I couldn't when I uh, was in the match with the cheaters. I sadly was not able to throw the match. Oh, the guy just killed himself. Man. If the enemy team is helping you win, you don't throw like that. Oh. Oh no. Maestro turret hack? Wait, what? Hold on, one sec. We're gonna restart the round to see if, uh, if that's what I think it is. I'm gonna hope that it is not what I think it is. I'm not gonna fast forward, I'm just gonna do two times and wait. Do I have a backlog of matches? Uh, each week I get like probably 30 to 40 submissions and I only ever do five, so that it would be impossible for me to like go through that backlog, but yes, I do have one. So he puts on the camera. Okay, so the door is open. He can... He can shoot the turret as fast as he wants and it doesn't overheat. Is that new? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Good impact. The cheats are clearly like stopping him from doing something. Oh, I forgot they have a timer now. Is how they lose. Oh, he was just able to like down and insta kill that person. Didn't, you didn't even hear like a shot go off. I'm confused on whether they end up because if blue team wins this round, then blue team wins overall, which means that they don't actually get to throw it all, unfortunately. did no damage to him. Oh, they actually killed the Scooby guy. Is his thing not working? No, it's not. His cheats aren't working. <laughs> this is what happens when you get the budget cheats. I guess they lose because he does not realize he can just use the Bailiff to go through. That's actually really depressing that this cheater has no idea how the Bailiff works and that he can go through the wall. Or it's that his cheats don't allow him to shoot so that he's just stuck. 
Because I think every time they shoot, the ammo just like bugs out. I want to see if I can get more footage of this uh, Maestro turret. But I don't think he's going to use it, unfortunately. Wait, there's no way. How do they stop the cheaters this way? Oh, they use the zombies. He can't get through the... They're not able to defuse? What, what are these cheats? Why aren't they so limiting? They can't shoot properly and they can't defuse. I guess like the cheats disable a bunch of functions. That seems so odd. Because like, you can tell that they're not intentionally wanting to lose because if they didn't care about winning or losing, they wouldn't be running around, you know, insta-killing everyone. They're trying to still win. But it, it just, it, I guess the cheats are bugging out? I don't know. They downloaded a virus, probably. We're gonna lose here. Oh, he brought out the Elda. So yeah, he shoots there, and he went from 60 bullets in the mag to 20. So that weird, like, infinite shooting thing is back. But it, it also is buggy. Like, he could have killed Osa there, but it's not letting him shoot, which is why he's just knifing. to shoot. Or no, he hit him there. He actually shot him there. Okay, now it's working again. Why can't he... I'm confused. Why can't he stop a diffuser? Why is it... there we go. Why is it bugging out? Oh, they actually stopped him by constantly hopping on the diffuser. So either they're just like spamming enough that he can't get it, or uh... Their cheats just don't let them defuse. It wouldn't surprise me if somehow the cheats like disable the defuse function because they just assume that, of course, if you're cheating like that, you'll never need to defuse. But obviously not the case. Kudos to the, those guys for throwing their match. It was unranked, but still. All right, obviously cheaters. We move on to the next one. We got to enjoy them losing and also see an interesting master turret thing. The sniper turret is back. Uh, in this match, we have Nice, uh, who is accusing Mommy Cass12515. I'm gonna guess they're cheating because they are already being shot at by their team. And looks like they're about to run outside and kill everyone. Some prank sheets like those fake cheats script kid on YouTube. I have no idea what any of that means. I don't think they would sell cheats that would do something like that, but I mean, it's possible. I think this guy is very obviously cheating. 
Um, Cause I could see you like messing with a cheater by making it where they can't defuse anymore. But then they're also giving them cheats that actually work. Like they can kill everyone. The only reason it failed is because um, they couldn't defuse. Yeah, I'm gonna guess cheating. <laughs> He's trying to play it a bit more passively, as if, like, you know, he's playing off sound, but no, he's just cheating. A hundred percent. Uh, let's see if we can see their account. I'm gonna guess that this is a stream remote name. How would you guys feel if they made it where... Um, only registered streamers in the like Ubisoft creator program could use streamer mode. Because I have conflicting thoughts on that. Because like it would be nice if it was just like, hey, you can only use this if you're actually a streamer so that cheaters can't take advantage of it. But then it also sucks because that just takes away from the rest of the community. And that's not fair. Um, This guy is currently in bronze with a 3.52 KD. Now, I totally understand that stat tracking is prone to errors because one player could go from like a 1.0 KD one day to like a 10.0 KD the next day and they'd be like, cheating, 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 ban him. But I feel like anyone who's above, I'd say like a pretty good cutoff would be a 3.0 KD. Anything above 3.0 is highly suspicious. Especially for how many matches played. Like, 8 matches, 0 losses, and a 3.5 KD. Like, that's suspicious. Casual, 70% win rate, but still a 2.19 KD. Like, these these should be getting flagged. Even pros don't have, like, a 3 KD in ranked. I think most pros have under a 2 KD. Okay, uh, moving on to our last match. I think it is the... Yes, this clubhouse one. Uh. Uh, we have Ben Ben Oxel, who is accusing Rizigan. And I'm just going to point out that the orange team banned Fuse and Bandit in this ranked match. I hate when cheaters play Yana. I don't know why Yana is so bugged out, but she is. Okay, so actually, you know, checking for stuff using her gadgets and drones. That was a reaction shot, almost lifted the stairs and then flicked back on the dock. That was a... Quite the flick. With, I can't tell. I can't tell if he can see the cast or not because the names are in the way. No, he flicks before he would have even seen the castle. So he was ready for that. Either the shield didn't get destroyed or the hack or match replay is bugging out. He almost flicked to that Valkyrie and then flicked away. It's hard to tell whether they can see this Azami or not because you can see that the Azamis are deployed but they don't expand in the match replay. His reactions are insane. He actually just missed the person walking through that door. Just happened to look as soon as they ran in. Seemed weird they were ready for that, but like I guess they might have heard it from the shots. 
I can see the dock. You mean the castle? They were already flicking by the time that the corner of castles had appeared. Which, if they did react off of it, it would have been like a one to three sec or millisecond reaction time, which is unprecedented. But we also have to remember that match replay is not perfect. Match replay often shows things incorrectly, so we can't just assume that um, reaction times in this are the same as how it would have been for the player. I guess he heard them proning around because he never actually droned them or saw them on drone. I guess just heard them. I don't know what they were trying to do. Cause I, yeah, proning proning as rook is very noisy. So they for some reason thought that was a good idea. I thought he flicked because he got shot by the castle. No, he was flicking as he got shot. It's hard to tell with such a small like it all happened in like two milliseconds, but. He was already mid-flick when he got the first hit damage, if I'm not mistaken. The only thing that's I'm finding like to be more suspicious, rather than you know walling or anything like that, is that they always are aiming right where the person's about to peek. This is the first time they are checking stuff that people are not anywhere close to. Normally they are like holding an angle and they just like hold the perfect angle for as soon as the person peeks. Could it be coincidence? Coincidence, of course. But only so many times am I willing to say it's coincidence. I mean, you have a Thatcher, I don't know why you wouldn't go for a Kitchen Hatch, in case there was a Kaid there. Instead, he's just taking it super slow and then thinking of jumping down the hatch. I think this is a ranked match too, which... I feel like the rank disparity seems insane. Like, this person is not playing like how the Rook was playing. Like, Rook is prone on rafters as one of the heaviest operators trying to hide. Those are not the same skill level. Also, they did a ring around the rosy one around one another. Also, the site setup is abysmal. Somehow they won. Two pills of Adderall? They probably did pop some Adderall before this match, based on how much they're fucking flicking around. It's hurting my eyes. One sec. It's showing the person is already on the ground. Okay, this door is not broken. Okay, with the door flicking or flickering in and out, it's hard to tell whether that person was actually visible or not. I guess he saw the Yana and then like shot through the barricade to try to kill the Yana, but killed the Hibana by accident. Ashley 2442 is just not having a good match. So you guys know how a lot of people have been complaining that the rank system is garbage because they're like, man, I just keep playing against like champions and I'm in gold. I think this is maybe what they're complaining about. This guy just got a 4k in the first like 30 seconds because he's just quick peeking and like tapping everyone through every angle. And got an ace. It's definitely, at the very least, the enemies are not on the same skill level as this guy. Whether he's cheating or not, I don't know. I feel like he's done enough stuff to... Um, prove himself innocent, as in like going on cameras, constantly checking everything instead of just uh, running through and being knowledgeable already. And they did lose the round because the one defender walked through the hallway as he walked into the other site and he never noticed. And 
I feel like if he was cheating, he would have noticed that. Instead, this feels like a high rank player just in a low rank lobby and just shitting on them. Could it be a champ doing copper or diamond? You can't really do copper or diamond anymore because it doesn't matter what you do, you will always start in your ranks. Like, even if, though you're in copper, you're going to start in champion. So copper or diamond is technically dead because of that. I can never truly face low rank players again. The game will not let me. Which honestly, like, you know, for the overall health of the game, that's good. I don't do anything to punish the low rank players. Like, I meme a lot in the low ranks. So I was not the problem, but for sure there were a lot of people who would just abuse the shit out of that and just, like, destroy copper players in their own copper to diamond series. Um, but no, this could not be... Or this should not be, like, a, hey... Um, I went on an alt account and faced like the worst lobbies because you can't do that. This is just like basically proof that matchmaking is fucking trash because they are matching this guy against the enemy team who seems lost as can be. I bet if we look up the rank of the orange team, it's going to be so different than the rank of the, at least the Rizigan guy. He for sure doesn't kill me anytime soon because the round still goes for a while. out and headshot him. Oh, it doesn't shot right, but he does shoot. Hmm. I don't know. I, I'm assuming not cheating, because we haven't seen any like actual evidence of cheating. He just seems insanely better than the enemy team. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a ranked match. But we'll watch this last round, and then go play with Rob. That was two times and still took him so long to react. Even there, it took him a while to react. They're all in blue. Jaeger has like their one normal exit covered and they have to push into sight. They're just surrounded. For the second time ever, he is looking behind him in case anyone's flanking, even though no one's over here. Just did a 360. Yeah, I don't think he's cheating, but this is just classic rank 2.0 matchmaking. He is currently in silver, but his true skill, I guess, would be around platinum. Although I feel like he's playing a lot better than a Platinum would normally play. He's only level 94. The name changes seem suspicious. Never used this count and then suddenly... I guess not never. He played the last few seasons. Uh, I don't know. But the enemy team did not seem like they were in that rank. No, this is a silver enemy. Silver. And I'm not talking like new rank 2.0 silver. Like I'm saying like old system silver gold silver <laughs> yeah no this is just like shitty matchmaking at its finest he is at the very least a plot maybe higher playing against silvers and the new rank system supposed to prevent that but clearly it's not working if he can consistently be plot and for some reason it's putting him against silvers the system just doesn't know what it's doing because like even on my alt accounts if i were to play ranked i would still be facing diamonds which is very annoying, but what can you do? Um, but that is it for Hacker Replay. We had, I think, more cheaters than not today. Yeah, we had way more cheaters than not today. 
Interesting maestro hack. Wonder if we'll see a comeback of the Twitch drone fucking laser. We'll just go. We'll see.